Thanks to this comment, I got a new tutorial idea. Let us first create a platform using 2D Sprite. Reset its transform. Add a sprite. And a box collider. Now let's create a particle system and name it Rain. First change the material to sprites default. Next add a collision, change the type from planes to world, and mode to 2D. Remove bounce by changing its value to 0, and put a value of 0.1 to lifetime loss. Next is shape, change the shape to box, Scale to 7 and rotate to 90. I forgot to reset its transform, so do that too. Now change the start size to 0.1. This depends on you if you want it to be bigger or smaller water drops. Also, duration to 1 and gravity modifier to 1, use higher gravity if you want your rain to drop faster. Next is emission, change the rate over time depending to how much rain you want, I will put 30. And now check texture sheet animation, change mode to sprites. I will use this sprites name raindrop, you can download this if you want, the link is in the description. For the sprite this is the settings, sprite mode to multiple, pixel per unit is 64. For filter mode, my sprite is pixel art so I'm using point. Max is 512. Apply your changes. Next open your sprite editor. Click on slice, change type to grid by cell size. Pixel size is 64 by 64, and pivot to bottom. Then click slice and apply. Now go back to your rain particle, texture sheet animation. And I will add 8 sprites because we have 8 frames on our animation. Then add all sprites in order. Next is frame over time. Click on the gear icon on the bottom left side, and choose the second to the last graph. Change the color the way you want. Last thing I will add a player just to show how it will look like when there is a moving object. Give your object a sprite and a collider. I will adjust the size a little bit. I think 0.05 is best size for me.
And that is all, thank you for watching.